Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro. I am so excited about today's tutorial. We are going to be creating a really nice looking sketch effect using motion for video. So let's get right into it. Once you've opened up motion here, we can go to file, new from project browser if you don't have the project browser. And we're just gonna go on down to import as project. From here, we're just gonna locate the footage that we want to use. I'm actually gonna use this nice shot I got from pexels.com of this woman at the beach and we'll just push import as project. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is create a clone layer of this original clip. And that is because if we do a duplicate, we're going to have to change out a bunch of factors if we ever wanna change the shot that is in motion. So let's make a clone layer, which will mimic whatever is happening in this original layer. And let's go ahead and rename that to be image mask layer and that will make sense a little bit later down the road. From there, we're going to apply what is called a threshold filter. So go up to filters, color, threshold. And threshold is going to turn this into black and white and we're going to use the black and white image to actually create a mask on our pencil textures which will make our lives a lot easier and it will make it a lot more realistic. Let's go ahead and add in some pencil textures. So just right click new group and we're gonna call this the pencil texture group. From there, we can just push command I and we will bring in the texture of the pencil that we want to use. And I actually really like this top one. So we'll just push import and I will just call this the light pencil texture because we're gonna have two different types of texture. From there, we are going to actually push Command Shift M or right click and add image mask. It will do the same thing. Once we have this image mask, we can jump on over to the inspector and we can drag our image mask layer that has that threshold effect. We can drag that into this box here. So let's just go ahead and do that. And so now the pencil texture will be only drawn wherever it is black, but it doesn't appear to be doing that. And that is because our source channel here is set to alpha. So let's just quickly change that over to luminance and you can see the effect starting to happen. So it's all in this sky at this very moment. And what's great is if I take this threshold, I can affect it and it will showcase more of the texture or less. So let's go ahead and scale up our texture here. Go to properties and we'll just scale that up so it fits the entire scene. And now if I adjust that threshold, we won't see any of those edges. So it's already doing a really great job for the light side of things, but we want the dark areas to also be drawn on. So let's go ahead and we're actually gonna duplicate this, not make a clone layer, but duplicate it. So push Command D, and then we're going to jump to the image mask here and change it from the mask blend mode from add to actually subtract. And now all the dark areas are going to be drawn on and the light areas will have an alpha channel. So now we have a glorious blob of pencil texture with no definition. So let's do a few things to separate these two colors out. Let's rename our light pencil texture copy to dark pencil texture. And from there, let's jump on up to filters, go down to color, and we will set the color curves. This is how I like to do it. You can do it however you want with color wheels or whatever. And I'm just gonna drag up the dark areas to give us a bit of contrast. We could even drop the light areas a little bit if you want. Um, I like to leave those alone though because it really does show the texture a lot better. Now from there, let's go ahead and select our light pencil texture, filters, color, color curves, and now we'll just drag up the light areas and we could actually reduce the contrast a bit in the sky because um, it's a little bit lighter, so that should be good. But one thing is all of the pencil texture is going the same direction and I find it looks a lot better if some of the texture is going one way and the others is going the other direction. So let's just quickly change that. Select your light pencil texture, go to filters, distortion, and we're going to flop it. And now it will be going the opposite direction that the dark texture is going and it will just make it look a lot nicer. So from here, I actually want this effect to draw on to our scene. So I want it to appear natural originally and then slowly fade into this effect. Firstly, we are going to import a transition and I don't know where I got this transition from. I'm sorry, I wish I could link you to it. But uh, this transition, which actually has an alpha channel to it, which is nice, but I'll show you how to get around it if you don't have an alpha channel. I uh, forgot to show how to change it from alpha to uh, luminance. So you just go to the source channel here, 
change it from alpha over to luminance and now a white and black version of your video will actually work great. Let's go ahead and select our pencil texture group. I'm going to take this transition out. The pencil texture group, we are going to right click and add an image mask once again for the entire group, not just the texture. And we're going to drag our transition into that. So now you'll notice that the texture, it's doing the opposite of what we want. But um, this could be actually a cool effect if you wanted it to go from a photo into a video. Um, so to change this, we're going to change the mask blend mode over to subtract to do the opposite of what it is doing. So now it is drawing over our video. And then um, right as it ends right there, we want the transition to stop. So we'll just have our transition selected. We'll go to our behaviors, go down to retiming hold frame. So now that we have our hold frame on our transition, we can just drag this out to the end of the video. So now this transition is going to stop and our effect will be applied to the rest of the video. Now what we do want to do is have the video actually stop as if it was a video turned into a drawing and then it freezes. So let's go ahead, jump on down to our sunset sketch effect. And right at this moment, we will go up to behaviors, retiming, and hold frame. And so now this will have that freeze frame look. So it'll play through and then it's all done. And it is a frozen video, which is exactly what we want it to look like. So one other thing I would like to affect is there's this color of the sky and stuff still coming through the frame and we want it to be black and white. So let's go ahead and take our sunset sketch effect and we will go to our properties, go to our op opacity and we will just animate the opacity of it going away to fade out that color and I'll have it actually happen a little bit sooner here. Perfect, so now it is a black and white frame. And the very last thing that I want to do is actually add in a paper texture that will make this look a lot more hand drawn. So to do that, we'll just push Command I or go up to File and Import. And I'm gonna select this piece of paper texture that I have here. I'll jump into my properties and we'll scale it up to 100 so it's nice and large. And let's go ahead, make sure that this texture of the paper is underneath your pencil texture group. We'll select our pencil texture group and we will change the blend mode from normal to multiply. And so now you will see the paper texture coming through and it really looks like it is drawn onto that piece of paper. So now we just want this paper to actually fade in. So we can actually just drag our paper over to this little further spot. We can have it fade in by selecting it and we will take our opacity to zero and then we'll just have it fade in over the time that the other part fades out. And it is beautiful. It looks like we have a really nice sketch. If you wanted to make it look like the edges are maybe a little rough, we could actually uh, select our pencil texture group here go into our masking tools and we'll select the Bezier mask and we could actually just kind of do something like this to make it look like it was drawn on but the edges are kind of uneven. There we go, we'll just add that. And why didn't that work? Okay, so after I've added this mask, I was having a little bit of trouble there. Um, so to fix the problem is just drag this image mask from the transition up above the Bezier mask and then we'll change this over to add. And so now we have that rough edge there that we were wanting and we might want to feather that a little bit. So we'll just jump into our HUD here and we can feather out the edges and make it look nice and soft. And we could even drag up the roundness if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. Oh, and I should add one last thing. If you want to actually change out the video that is being drawn on, if you just select your sunset sketch effect here and we'll go to the image type and we'll change that to drop zone, we can now drop in another video. Uh, let me do that real quickly. So I can drop in this other sunset sketch effect on top of our drop zone and now it is automatically applied all of the same filters and everything to our video and it just makes it really easy to apply this effect to a lot of different videos so 
we have a drawn on frame here and it looks really, really nice. With that being said, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I hope you learned something new about motion. If it was, consider pressing that like button and consider subscribing as I have brand new tutorials every single week. With that being said, I will see you next week.